Ed Enninger, it's great to have you here to talk about your project and congratulations again on your award. Thank you so much. Yeah, could you start by introducing yourself and talking a little bit about the project for folks? Absolutely. So uh, I'm Ed Enninger. I'm the managing principal of Enninger Engineering Associates. We're an MVP sustainability consultant uh, right here in Midtown Manhattan. We're about 80 people. Uh, we take on projects of a similar scale to the project we're going to talk about today. More whole city blocks and we're able to uh, access our engineering background and at the intersection of sustainability and really push the envelope kind of literally with with uh, with our projects. The Malcolm Shabazz Harlem project that we'll talk about a little bit today is a wonderful example of this. Uh, we have a uh, through lot open air market that is, you know, a good portion of a city block uh, that is owned and operated by uh, the Malcolm Shabazz Mosque, which is basically a direct lineage uh, to Malcolm X. They have this open air market now, and there's really two needs that this project kind of, there's two needs that bring this project to a head. One, we're going to uplift and enclose this market, which celebrates West African culture, wares, um, and stuff like that, and put a vastly needed affordable housing in two towers that rise above on each street frontage. We're going to provide the market an opportunity to do things that it can't do with its open air capacity now. So we'll do things, uh, we'll be able to cook and we'll be able to access uh, energy recovery opportunities from the cooking, from the domestic hot water, from the cooling. And kind of since we have this mixed use project, we're going to be able to play directly into the residential affordable apartments above. Wow. So, and, and so you, you touched on some of the kind of innovations that are a big part of this project. And I've got a list here um, that I want that I'm hoping you'll you'll share with us. But can you talk a little bit more about that, the market and the and the heat recovery and how that how that's working? Yes. Just to ground us in like the, yeah. the broader context, we are passive certifying. We're passive passive house certifying the, the project. Yeah. Um. Obviously, market and the apartments alike. Right. Um. And so, uh, what we're doing is within the apartments itself, we're going to use uh, black water source heat pumps. Um, one of the threads that we'll talk about here a little bit is maybe circularity and also partnership. So let's let's ground domestic hot water in the concept of circularity. We're going to take literally the wastewater stream from toilets and bathrooms upstairs, use that to power ultra efficient heat pumps that do the domestic hot water for the entire building. Um, and to add heat to that system to take the efficiency to the next level, we have refrigeration racks in the market that we're going to take the waste heat and send to that system. And we'll actually be able to take the coefficient of performance over four, which is like for a heat pump mm-hmm. system, a number you don't get to see that often. That's so cool. Yeah. Right. And so you're right. And you're integrating these different systems from different elements of the project that have really different patterns, but that can complement one another. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And you've also really had been focusing in on low embodied carbon materials. Could you could you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Yes. So uh, while we are um, going to certify the passive house, we are actually going to deploy packaged terminal heat pumps in the apartments upstairs which is not a traditionally compatible system with Passive House because it is quite literally an air source heat pump with a facade penetration through the wall and a louver and that whole thing. Yeah. So um, air infiltration um, and, you know, envelope tightness is a huge problem. Um, And, you know, trying to deal with the insulative performative loss at that punch is also an issue. And we're taking those things directly head on. We've engaged, uh, we've engaged the manufacturers. to help kind of lead them to the product changes that we need. There's uh, special gasketing that's happening within the PTAC assembly. There are insulative inserts that are happening within the assembly. But to the original point yeah. of your question, yeah. which is to reduce embodied carbon, traditionally the, the heating and cooling systems for passive houses, there's no facade punch and there are refrigerant splits. And within that refrigerant, within that split, there is a large quantity of refrigerant. Yeah. So we have directly targeted uh, huge amounts of on-site refrigerant reduction by deploying the package system. And there's just um, millions of ton pounds of global warming potential yeah, that you, you we've eliminated. That's, that's right. really fantastic. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Can you talk a little bit about also the renewable, on-site renewables and, and um, it sounds like you have battery storage. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's talk a little bit more about the, the partnership and the circularity of the project overall, right? Because... So we have 
Um, first of all, we have a wonderful development team. We have the, the, the builder at the table. We have the mosque at the table who's going to own and operate the market. And that is one of the key ways that we can actually unlock the interplay between the two spaces. There is a between the two towers that rise above. There is a residential amenity, but we filled skylights, operable skylights that we're going to use to naturally ventilate the market during shoulder season days. Um, but pushing beyond partnership and pushing into circularity, um, we really tried to challenge the way we build in a traditional way. A literal example of circularity uh, that we're using is a recycled brick facade. Uh, we have rainwater harvesting that is being used within the amenity below that we can use for irrigation and other uses on site. On the high residential towers, we do have solar uh, panels and batteries that will be used to power areas of refuge within the residential and market portions of the building. Um, and it's just as hard as far as we can push, we will. Yeah, yeah, it's so inspiring, and and your, this theme of circularity clearly is really central to to it all. So, it, yeah, it really is. We we've tried to challenge ourselves to ask. Are sure we're the city that built New York City, um, but are we entitled? Are we entitled to build the way that we built, and to really try to minimize not only material waste again in the facade? but energy use, how can we share the heat rejection from the refrigeration downstairs and give it to the heat source to make domestic hot water upstairs and just push and, pl and play in that type of way. And, and opportunities arise in mixed use buildings that we love to try to access. Yeah, well, fantastic. Um, thank you for your innovation and, and leadership and, and all that, oh, we really appreciate it. Thank you for the yeah, pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. So is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? Uh, if I could, I like to always close with a challenge, Great. right? And try to challenge all of us within industry and beyond to try and think the way that I'm kind of talking, let's say. Um, we have to push, we're not entitled. We are pulling the manufacturer to what we need to get these package systems to, to go passive, to, to naturally ventilate this market with operable skylights that are also doing daylighting is not a right with DOB so we have to file a, a code determination to make that work the way the code works. And there are a couple of spaces where we've been able to work with the city of New York specifically to get that to happen within the context of the Climate Mobilization Act. But the challenge for us is to not be afraid to push, push for more, push for circularity, ask the questions that no one else is asking to really push us to where we need to land.